Steelmaking is one of the world's largest industries and it produces over 300 million tonnes of slag every year. So slag is the waste product from ironmaking. At CSIRO we've spent more than a decade working on advanced technology to deal with that slag in a way that's more environmentally friendly. The current methods are dump it on the ground, which is perfectly acceptable, it's not hazardous, but that means you waste a large amount of material that could be used for another use and you lose all the heat, a gigajoule of heat for every tonne of slag. The other way of dealing with slag is to granulate it using water. This produces good granules that can be used for cement manufacture. The trouble is you use a thousand litres of water for every tonne of slag, so that's a large environmental cost. What we've developed here is dry slag granulation. We can granulate the slag, produce a good quality product that can be used for cement manufacture, but do it in a way that doesn't involve water. If you use our products to produce cement, for each tonne you use, you basically save 800 kilograms of CO2 emissions. Our dry slag granulation technology involves pouring molten slag from above our rig down onto a spinning disc. That disc is spinning at high speed and it atomises the molten slag into small granules. They uh, solidify as they're travelling through the air and are collected in a torus that surrounds the disc. The really smart bit of the technology is the disc that involves a lot of computer modelling and design to come up with a disc that can produce consistent granules reliably. Uh, other people that have worked on this technology have, have struggled with that, with that part of the process. Air is used to blow the granules around the torus. The granules are ultimately collected from various points and the hot air is extracted out the top and that's how we recover the heat energy. We have developed the partnership with a Chinese company, MCCE. Through this collaboration, we commercialize CSR leading technology to benefit the population through reduce carbon dioxide emission and save water, and most importantly, recover energy as well. At the end of the day, it's a global benefit for the society. We'll be working with a company called MCCE in China. Uh, China produces 50% of the world's steel, and they will be developing a pilot facility at one of the Chinese steel facilities uh, to test this technology and then to take it to market, first in China, but ultimately around the world. This collaboration could be really important for a number of reasons. Firstly, it brings Chinese production technologies together with Australian science. And secondly, if implemented around the world, it'll have a huge impact on water and energy use and greenhouse gas emissions. Just to give you an example, if this technology was deployed everywhere in the world, it would equate to about 14% of Australia's annual energy usage, about 10% of Australia's greenhouse gas emissions. The success is based on the CSIRO flagship program. This lets us think strategically about what the important technologies Australia and the world will need in the future. And dry slag granulation is a great example of us thinking about a demand in the future, working with our scientific collaborators to get the technology to a commercial ready stage and now we're ready to commercialise it.